My name is uh, Drexel, and I'm going to be playing some GeoGuessr Country Streaks. Uh, I do apologize in advance. I had a video pre-planned, but I found out that I was muted the entire time. Kind of sucks because I got 33 countries in a row, which was very, very difficult for me to do. And then it was very sad to find out that it hadn't even uh, been recorded correctly. So the audio and the uh, footage got corrupted, but nevertheless, uh, I'm going to try to get another 20 countries at minimum. Uh, and kind of explain my thought process through all these rounds. Uh, and yeah, hopefully these will be some good rounds. We can get some good gameplay here. Alright, so first thing I notice is that this sign uh, would indicate that we're either in Russia, Ukraine, or Lithuania. One of those three countries. Um, obviously, uh, Ukraine and Russia. Uh, the language there is much different than in Lithuania. Uh, so if we could just see a language that can help us with our odds. Okay, so it's either between Russia or Ukraine, and since we have a red blur here on the car, I know this has to be Ukraine. Alright, good. For our second country here, we have some language here that looks Hungarian. Uh, and I just want to make sure... Um, get some more information here. But I'm pretty sure this is Hungary, based on the, um, that sign there. Okay, yep. This is a very common Hungarian, uh, sign where it'll tell you the road number on the actual sign. I could actually pretty, I could probably get pretty close to this location. Uh, I know I can't really guess, like, where it is, but Hungary, uh, the road signs are very organized, so you have threes over here, and then it increases like that, I believe. Um, so what was that? The 67? So 67 is right here, so I bet we're somewhere in the southwest sector of Hungary. Yep. We were right on top of it, actually. That would have been near perfect score. So a very good guess there. Um, let's keep it going. Alright, with this sign and these bullards, we're in Denmark. Um, you'll see in Denmark you'll have a lot of these signs that are red and kind of on the ground like this. And then, obviously, Danish bollards are very, very unique. We've got a little rectangle of yellow, followed by a neon orange stripe around the top. Alright, off the rip, I could probably go Malaysia here very quickly, just because I see that there's a black uh, sign here on the post here. That's a very Malaysian kind of thing to do, and we're dropping to the left, so let's go Malaysia here. Yep. Let me see, we're somewhere in the southern hemisphere, most likely, based on where the sun is located. Um, license plate doesn't really help. Um, let's see if we can get any more clues as to where we might be. J.S. Hare, that is English. It's very English. Um, so I would think maybe we're in Australia or maybe New Zealand. This doesn't look very New Zealand-like, um, so I'm thinking we might be in, ooh, okay, so we had English on that one sign, but this is actually Spanish. Do we have a car? Do we have a colored car? I don't think we do. This is actually gonna be quite tricky, I think. Okay, we have a .br extension, which would be in Brazil. That pretty much saved us right there, so, yep. Not much to say about that round. Um, let's see here. UIT. Um, we have yellow license plates, which would indicate that we're most likely in the Netherlands. Let's go Netherlands here. Nice. So when you have yellow license plates in the front and the back, that means that you're almost always going to be in the Netherlands. Uh, the only two other countries that have both front and back license plates that are Yellow are Luxembourg and Israel. Um, this is very unusual coverage. Uh, usually, there's usually coverage is not like this. So, okay, that looks like in like something I would see around here, Indian script or whatever. I don't know the correct terminology, but all right, um, that was correct. Um, 
.ch extension would indicate that we were actually in Switzerland. Another thing, if we didn't have that, is that we're very low to the ground, like the Google camera car is very uh, low to the ground. You can see like we're level with this thing, which is very low, normally you're a little bit higher up. So when you have a low camera like this, um, you're either going to be in Switzerland or Japan, but since this looks more Swiss than Japanese, we're going to go Switzerland here. Alright, that looks like a Danish flag right on the end of that uh, utility van or whatever, but this actually looks to be France with um, this sign. So, Le Val, Le Clos, Des, whatever that is. I'm sorry, I don't speak French, but... And then obviously with the French flag here, this would very clearly be France. It's nine in a row, let's go one, one more for ten in a row. Uh, and we get one of these rounds, okay. Middle of nowhere kind of a flag? What is that? That can't be a country, can it? Or is it? it looks Swedish to me, if I had to... I had to guess, but um, I think it would be a toss up between Sweden and Finland right now. This looks like generation 4 coverage, which means that the, the camera quality is very clear. Usually in Finland, it'll be a little bit less clear. So I'm thinking this is Sweden here. Um, in fact, I think I will go Sweden here in a second. I just want to make 100% sure. Because this could be Finland, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I just want to be a hundred percent sure. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna go Sweden here. Yep. Okay. It's very close to the Finnish border, but it turns out to be fine. Um. A lot of brick being used. I would assume this is Belgium, just because Belgium likes to use a lot of brick. So is the Netherlands. Five, five, one, two, three, four, five bars. I don't know how many Belgium has. Um, but again, I feel like this is Belgium. No, France. Is that a French flag? That says France right there. That's, yep. Okay. I was thinking that that could have been Belgium, but maybe it's like up here. Maybe northern France. No, it's just near Paris. All right. So, um, next round here, uh, I'm thinking this is going to be one of these, uh, Baltic countries, one of these three, Estonia, Latvia, or Lithuania. Um, can't really explain why, um, Tom Salut, is that Estonia? Maybe Estonia here, La Silla. It's either Finland or uh, Estonia here. I'm, I want to go um, Estonia here for whatever reason. Just I need to make sure that these uh, towns or whatever actually show up. So let me let me highlight uh, Estonia for a second. But let me make sure. This could easily be Finland. I just want to be hundred percent sure that I'm getting this right. Um, the differences between Finland and Estonia are very minimal. Um, so I could obviously, I could really, really easily be on the wrong track here with Estonia. But something's telling me that this is more Estonian than Finnish. I think by the signs, I think that's mostly what I'm going off of here. Oof. I am worried. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go Estonia here. Let's go Estonia. Good, alright, that was, that had me worried for a second. Alright, there's the cities that we saw. I'm gonna zoom way in for that. Let's see what that says. Uh, I can't read that. It's all blurred out. We have Generation 4, I'm, ooh, hold on. Are those the Danish Bullards? They are. So we saw those before, those are obviously Danish Bullards, you don't get those anywhere else in the world. So we can safely go Denmark here. Um, let's see here. So this is New Zealand. Um, I can tell just by the bollards. Uh, again, a lot of a lot of this game is just memorizing a lot of stuff and memorizing these bollards and where they can be found is really good for 
uh, this game in particular. Alright, this is concerning. We have a black car, which normally would mean we're somewhere here. But this is very, very dry, and we're in the northern hemisphere. So I'm going to go Jordan here, which is near Israel, right over here. And... There's a couple things here that are making me want to go Jordan. So obviously, uh, the aridness, the dryness of the land around us. Argentina is very similar. Um, in Argentina also, very commonly you'll have a black car in Argentina, but... I think the main thing here that puts it apart from Argentina is these yellow lines on the outside. I think in Argentina you get yellow lines down the middle. Versus in countries like Jordan, you'll have them on the sides right here. And I believe you'll also have the yellow on the sides in South Africa and countries around South Africa like Botswana, Eswatini, that, that kind of thing. But I think pretty confidently I can go Jordan here. Alright. 16. Uh, round 16. Uh, we have a special car. Pyro rack. We have rifts in the sky, I believe. Let me move around. Let me make sure I'm seeing those right. I'm pretty sure those are rifts in the sky. So when you see... That's awkward. So when you see rifts in the sky like this, um, there's only a specific number of countries. I think there's four in total where you'll get rifts. Uh, there might be more, there might be less. But generally speaking, you can get rifts in Portugal, in Montenegro, in Albania, and then Senegal. However, you do not get a special car in Portugal nor in Montenegro, nor Albania, but you do get one in Senegal. So I am thinking that this is Senegal. I uh, just want to make sure there's nothing special about this car. Uh, like any piece of tape, like if there's a piece of tape on there, then I know it's a different country. That tape goes with a different country in Africa, so I just want to make sure there's nothing on there like that. I want to safely go Senegal here. Good. Round uh, number 17 here, so we have some Finnish Estonian bullards here, so we knew we're somewhere Baltic, what does that say? That looks Finnish, I think. I believe that's Finnish. Um, obviously I need some signs here, uh, that would help me a lot. Okay, that's not a Finnish sign, I don't believe, is it? Ooh, maybe. That kind of looks Finnish. I don't... What are we... What are we going by here? So here's... Let me see. Where's the six? Let me make this a little bit larger. Can I? Yes, I can. Alright, so... Here's the six. So we found the six. To La... La Pinranta. Whatever that is. So let me go Finland here. Let me make sure. Let me see. Just... Estonia go by these numbers, they do. They have a 6 here, though. Ooh, this is, uh, actually, this is really tricky. Hold on. Okay, Sweden, they do not have these numbers, so we can rule out Sweden. And then, it's obviously not Norway, I don't think, right? Yeah, there's no way this could be Norway. Um, so it's either between Estonia and Finland again. Do these, I do not like these rounds. Wait, let me go back. Let's see. Hio Nella, or Hio Nola. So the 46, what is... So the 6 and the 46, let me see, where, where was it? It was somewhere over here, I think. It's a 6. Is this number going down? Not really. But the wraps around, oh, here it is. Lap, Lapinranta, so we're in Finland. And to be honest, we'd probably be right around here. But I guess, so... Good, that was good. Good observational skills to make sure that we were not in Estonia there. Um, okay. So what do we have here? This looks like Slovakia. Okay. I, I didn't even notice that right there, but I was looking at this sign right here, and this looks Slovakian. So what I notice here, if I can get a little bit... Can I get a little bit closer? Okay, that's a little bit better. So what I notice here is that uh, there's five bars. One, two, three, four, five. But normally in Europe, um, when you have these bars, the person that's walking on the bars usually goes above these. So the person won't actually touch these bars, but it'll be like just above it. 
so you can clearly see like the bars are visible. Um, but in this case, this guy is literally just walking across it, like his feet are all on these bars, so it kind of makes it hard to see what number there is. Uh, and that's pretty common in Slovakia, I think. I think Slovakia is the only country that does that. Uh, but if I didn't have that sign there, there's the .sk extension, which can tell me that we are in Slovakia. Okay, moving on, we have two more. Two more countries, actually, until we get this, um, 100%, uh, to 20 countries, so... Let's see, this, this looks like a little bit of a harder round here, um... What I noticed first was that we actually have tape on the antenna. Um, usually that is linked to Eastern European countries. Uh, only? I think. we just jump to Gen 4? I think we definitely just jumped to Gen 4. Yeah, we jumped to Gen 4. We've got 4, which is actually very rare. I think it's only Bulgaria? That might only be Bulgaria. I think Bulgaria is the only country that does 4 with the tape, with the Gen 4 coverage. Which is just, Gen 4 coverage is just seeing that blue right there. That's all that means. That looks like Cyrillic scripts. That definitely looks like Cyrillic scripts. So we can go Bulgaria here. Good. So we have one more country to go. <laughs> and of course we're gonna get screwed. I knew it, dude. Oh my goodness. So let's see what we got here. Let's use our context clues. So we're in the Northern Hemisphere, most likely. It could be wrong. Sun is sometimes wrong. We've got a lot of this water over here. Uh, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to figure out. Um, dude, what? Like on a beach or something? All right, I'm gonna go Mexico here. I don't know why. Costa Rica, no, dude. Oh my goodness, we were so close. We were actually so close. I mean, that's a really, really hard round because most of the coverage, like I said, is in San Jose for Costa Rica. Um, that <laughs> that is just the most unfortunate round ever, dude. Um, that was, that was after a really good streak, so, let's just view our summary really quick. So we got a bunch of these countries, right? I'm really proud of these Estonia, Finland guesses that I got. I believe we had, we had one Estonia and one Finland. So, that was a really good, that was a really good round. A uh, really good bunch of rounds, so. Yeah, let me just go to the start page. Uh, in case you're wondering, I am currently 758th in the world. So hopefully I'll be getting some competitive GeoGuessr gameplay out very, very soon. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to record a quick video, trying to get 20 streaks, I'm sure. I'm sure next video that I do, I'll get there, maybe even more, maybe 25, 30. Uh, but until then, have yourselves a wonderful rest of your day or night. And uh, yeah.